we're going to practice with command pipelines. We'll run them in the terminal. And I want you to be able to compare the cut and grep commands to some of the functions we do in MySQL. So that's why we're starting up the terminal. I'm at my dollar prompt. If I type echo, okay, and what you're going to do is you're entering the data that we inserted into our items table in MySQL. We're going to enter in them as text separated by colon. So here's the code for the course. I'll put a colon and then the name of the course is intro to Linux. Another colon and then a description explore. And the double quotes, I'm just going to bring it to the screen. Okay, so that's going to be the first line of our items file. We're going to just create a flat data file called items. So what do I need to put at the end of this statement to get it to go into a file called items? What special symbol will redirect it? Instead of going to the screen, it will go to a file. I guess we do need a review on this. Okay, so the greater than symbol means I'm taking the output and redirecting it onto, and I'm going to create a file called items. So now I don't get the output to the screen. Okay, the second line will be this 217 course, echo. 217 colon oracle. That's the title, colon, and then the description. Colon. Now, instead of the greater than, I have to use the double greater than so I don't overwrite the first line. And it's just basically I'm copying from here just to make sure let's take a look we should have these two lines in there and one more than the previous and here you can put any number you want I'm using 101 and intro to C's colon, I'll just call it Windows colon, and the double greater than because I'm appending same file items. So now if I do cat items, I have the three lines. Now this data is, is similar to the three records we put in MySQL. Right? It should look familiar, right? Now, in MySQL, we used a select statement, and we could select based on field names. Because these are in a text file, we can use the cut command, but it's not like we can reference it as item name, item, they don't have field names. So if I use the cut command, and I just want the first column, maybe just the first and the second column. We can reference the field number, field one and two, and then the delimiter, we have to express that that is a colon, and the name is items. Okay. So for the cut command, I have to tell it which fields I want. I have to tell it what is the separator between those fields, and then the file name. And here, now I get a list with the course codes and the course titles. If I just wanted uh, the title, let's say, then I would remove one and I just request field number two. Now you can use also the grep command. Suppose I want to get a list of all the courses or all the list, the titles in here that are intro courses. Rep is the command that we use to search 
for a particular pattern. So I can say grep intro and the file name is items. And I see that I have two lines of the three that are intro courses. Now in my SQL, instead of a grep, we use a where clause. If you notice, the cut and the grep are doing similar things that we did with a database. It's a little bit more cryptic because we're just dealing with a text file. In SQL, you can do a count of the number of rows. How would we count the number of rows in this data file? What command is used to count the number of lines? Dylan, thanks for volunteering. I saw you raise your hand. Yeah, so you got to be careful when you stretch. I'm like going to call on you. All right, so which, uh, what was I asking? I just lost the train of thought. Which command? Um, I don't know. <laughs> All right, do you remember what I asked you? That would be helpful. Oops, fine. Just killed it. I'm good. Uh, you asked uh, which command is used to read how many lines. Perfect. Okay, so there's a count command in SQL where you can select the count of the number of lines. Uh, we don't have count, but we have word count. Okay, WC-L items, that'll give me the number of lines. What if I want the number of lines for just the intro courses? How did I get the intro courses? Well, here's the grep command right here. All right, here's the command we used to search, and we came up with the list, and we had two lines. So if I brought that one back up, I can pipe the output of that grep command into the word count with the dash L option. Remember this symbol here, what does that symbol do? You're gonna to need to know this for the quiz. It uh That's backs it on. It's like a, an and pretty much. It, it's like it, a and what and. does it do? It it does the command of the first one as well. Okay. It it's does a, it's the a command. pipe, isn't it, Professor? It's a pipe command, yes, thank you. Yeah. So the way it works is it does command one and takes the output of that command and is piped as an input into the next command. That's why this word count is very often used. Another thing we could do with grep, we can also pipe it to the sort command. In MySQL, they have an order by clause. But here we have a sort command. So now it's sorted in number order. Before we had 165 and then 101. Here we have it sequenced by number. We can also use the cut command and the grep to parse through files, especially a file like the ETC password file. How many of you did those exercises in the previous topic, I had an exercise using uh, different files, including the ETC password file. Okay, some of you, some didn't. I'm losing people. The webcams are going off, I'm losing you. <laughs> are we still okay? If I go too fast and you have a question, please uh, stop me, because if you have a question, there's a good chance your classmates have the same question. So for example, we can uh, use this grep on a lot of these configuration files. For example, the ETC group file, it stores the group names and the group IDs. So let's say I want all group IDs that contain the number 10. 
So I can grab 10 slash ETC slash group. And it shows me a list of all the ones that have the digits 10 in their group ID. What if I want all the lines in the TC group file that begin with the letter U? Here, that the line begins with the letter U. Okay. So I just say grep U slash ETC slash group. I mean, I'm going to find U everywhere. But if I want the letter U to be at the beginning of the line, who remembers what is the beginning of the line anchor? That special character. It's the caret symbol. If I do grep caret U, the caret represents the beginning of the line anchor touching that edge. So now I get a much smaller list. It's just giving me the groups with a name that begins with you. What if from this list, let's say I just want the group ID number from this list. So we'll often take the output of grep and pipe it into the cut command. Okay, so grep um, selects the rows that we want and then cut slices the columns that we want. So instead of giving me the three different fields, I can type it to cut dash F and we want the third field and the dash D tells it that the colon is the delimiter. You need that. All right, is everybody typing it with me? So everyone getting it to work. You're nodding. Okay. I hope I hope I hope we're doing good. If you're not, you know, help me. Now there's other things that we can use in a pipe. There's the date command. Type the date command. Let's say in this date it says Monday the 23rd of October. Um, what if I want to just get the year out of this date command? Well, I can pipe the gate date command. What do I pipe it to? Cut or grep? Uh, so it's okay. cut. Yes, cut. Okay, because cut selects columns and there's only one row. If there were multiple rows. That's when grep selects the row. So in this case, I want, let's see, Monday is field one, 25 field two, October three, and the year is the fourth field. And so I'm going to say dash F four, and the delimiter appears to be a space. So we put single quotes, or I think double quotes might also work. I'm not sure. What did I forget? What did I do wrong? I forgot something. The cut. The cut, exactly. Uh, I forgot the command, the cut command. Thank you. Okay. Okay, and so now I'm selecting just the column that has the year. Okay. Now, echo. We can use echo not just to display a text, a line of text. We can also expand a variable, a system variable. The path is a special system variable. If you say echo, dollar path has to be in uppercase. You're going to get this long string, but if you look in detail, each part of the string is a reference to a directory. So there's one, there's the second, there's the third, and so on. And it's a list of directories and they're separated by a colon. This path variable stores the locations of where your commands will be found. So when you type a command like the date command, it looks in that path variable to find the command. It, it searches this directory first and it goes through the list until it finds the command. Um, there was a command, where is, let's see if we can, okay, so if I go, where is date, it's going to show me user bin date. 
Okay, so user bin is here. So it found the date command in the third, fourth uh, field. So if I go back to my echo, let's say I just want to see the second directory. Okay, if I just want the second directory, I can type this to cut dash F2 and dash D. And again, the colon is determines the, the separator. So in this case, the second directory is this one. Okay, if I want the third directory, I change it to three. And the third one gives me this one. Uh, the dash F is the field option. The dash D is the delimiter option. And you need both of them. Remember the history command where you can bring back previous commands? You can also, in your history, if you have a very long list, you just use the exclamation in the number of the command. And you can run it that way. So, what was that command? 501. So, we have the grep command where we can select a row that we're looking for. For example, I could say grep units items, and it's just going to give me the rows that match. Or we can use cut to just give me a particular field, like the item number. Well, remember to put the file name in. Now, it's interesting, too, that there's a number of ways you can do these commands. I could also say cat items and pipe it to cut. Okay. And I'm going to get the same result. 